subscribe world action and reaction news warn and press bell button for getting notification of all future updates. 20 years after Pakran 2, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Agni Vianway India has kicked off the process to induct its first intercontinental ballistic missile Agni-V into the Strategic Forces Command, SFC, 20 years after the country conducted the five Pakran-2 underground nuclear tests under Operation Shakti. Defence sources on Friday said several systems and subsystems associated with the over 5,000 km range missile, which brings the whole of China as well as parts of Europe and Africa under its strike range are being handed over to the new Agni-V unit raised under the SFC. The second pre-induction trial of Agni-V is slated to take place soon, the first one was on January 18 this year, after four developmental trials since April 2012. If successful like the earlier tests, the Agni-V unit with its missiles can be shifted to a strategic base, said a source. The tri-service SFC already has Prith-V2, 350 km, Agni I, 700 km, Agni II, 2, 000 km, and Agni III, 3, 000 km, missile units. While some Sukhoi 30 MKI, Mirage 2000 and Jaguar fighters have also been jury-rigged to make them capable of delivering nuclear bombs, the third leg of the nuclear triad is represented only by the Solitary Nuclear Ballistic Missile Submarine, SSBN, in Zarahant as of now. While the weak underwater leg is a continuing concern because SSBNs are considered the most secure and effective platforms for retaliatory nuclear strikes, especially for a country like India that has a declared no first use NFU, policy, sources say the SFC and the PM-led Nuclear Command Authority NCA, have taken big strides since they were created in January 2003. There is, of course, the long-standing controversy over whether India actually achieved its declared yields in the 1998 Pakran 2 nuclear detonations, which included a 15 kiloton fission device, a 45 kiloton thermonuclear device, hydrogen bomb, and three sub-kiloton devices. Some experts have even called for junking the NFU policy because India is faced with two nuclear-armed hostile neighbours. But such debates apart. Sources say a lot of work has been carried out to establish underground nuclear command posts, command and control centers as well as strategic missile bases at different locations. Redundancies, alternative chains of command, targeting strategies for retaliation and operating procedures for a launch on attack, among other things, have been ensured, said another source. Till SSBNs with nuclear missiles over 3,500 km range are inducted. The Agni missiles and nuclear glide bombs delivered by fighters will remain the mainstay of India's deterrence posture, he added. Operational deployment of the over 50 ton Agni V, which will take about a year, will add some much needed teeth to the deterrence posture against China. Agni V, which carries a 1.5 ton nuclear warhead, is more deadly than the earlier Agni variants because it's a canister launch missile to ensure swift transportation and firing. It reduces the response time as well as ensures higher reliability with less maintenance, said the source. Before the test in January, the three-stage Agni-V underwent four developmental trials, with open configuration tests in April 2012 and September 2013. Then, it was test-fired from hermetically sealed canisters mounted on transport cum-tilting launcher trucks in January, 2015 and December. 2016 Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel World Action and Reaction News. Warn.